Hey everybody, it's Daniel here from Mobile Syrup, and I'm here with Gary Clausen from RIM, and we're actually taking a look at the uh, upcoming BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha device with uh, the BlackBerry 10 keyboard. So, uh, what's new and great about this keyboard? Well, as you'll see, the, the keyboard is based on the design that you might see in BlackBerry. It's very clean. The, there's a lot of emphasis on the keys, but what's unique is that over top of every one of the characters is the word that I might want to top. What might want to type. So it anticipates what word I want to type, and if that's the word I want, I can just flick it up onto the screen. And a lot of the common things that I might want to say very quickly show up. So mm -hmm. I can very quickly, using the API, I can, using the keyboard, I can very quickly type common phrases that I might need when I'm in a hurry. I'll be there in the morning. Great. And uh, I saw that there was a um, number, um, you can just change it over to the numbers in the, in the bottom left? Yeah, that's right. A lot of the traditional th things you would expect in the keyboard. So mm -hmm. being able to switch between numbers and letters. And you, uh, well. you were showing us earlier the gestures to delete a word. Right. So if I, in, I might want to back up by character, or if it's the entire word, I can just swipe to the left and mm -hmm. it deletes it. Just another way to make the keyboard that much faster, which is so important for Momo. Mm -hmm. So, I have my universal inbox. This is something familiar to BlackBerry users. This is my unified list of all my communications. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a, with an understanding of the way BlackBerry users work, we wanted to be able to provide access to notifications to wherever I am in the UI. So if I'm, if I'm, working in a, I'm looking at an email and I receive an incoming notification, I can see what, what notification came in and then return to where I was. And wherever I am, I want to be able to provide context mm -hmm. for where I came from and access to my notifications. Right. So what's brilliant about that is the opportunity for the end user to always be in control in terms of context and their notifications. Awesome. And that front screen that you uh, had at the beginning, can you should take that back? So talk to me about what we're seeing right here. So similar on, to, uh, on a playbook, there's multiple applications that I might have running mm -hmm. and I might want to be able to have multiple apps that I've started. I want to be able to see those and switch between those very fluidly. Is this considered so the home screen? Like, much, like the, uh, much like the home screen on the, on the playbook, mm -hmm. that's what would be shown there. Okay, so we're, when we're going swiping left and right, we're going between applications. Uh, for example, when, when you were on that home screen and you flip right to show the all accounts uh, inbox. Right, we're, so... We're yeah. actually going back and forth between apps. These are my different running applications. I see. And then from within the universal inbox, I'm able to navigate with between what might be separate applications, mm -hmm. but as far as the user is concerned, they're one, one continuous flow. Okay. So from here to the email viewer, to a PDF viewer, and then back. And then just back. So everything is gesture-based, just like in the playbook. Yeah. In keeping with the, the design tenants we were talking about this morning, and our intent with sharing this early with the development community is so that they see the intent of our design mm -hmm. and they have the opportunity to build those same type of effects into their applications before the launch of BlackBerry 10. So what we're seeing today, we're doing a bunch of stuff with Cascades, or um, you know what what's being in, interpreted as um, you know a smooth kind of design uh, user experience is that what what we're seeing right here? So when you're flipping between them, is is that what you would consider to be cascades? Cascades is one of the UI frameworks that it, that's available for application developers. Mm -hmm. for, Cascades has a number of design elements baked into it mm -hmm. to make it easy for application developers to be able to get the types of flow and content and all of those design elements, animation, intrinsic animations and layouts, mm -hmm. get all of those things for free so that they can think about what their applications need to do and their applications look good out of the box. Right. With Cascades, Cascades is one of the options that developers can use to make applications that look... Where with Cascades, it's hard to make an application that doesn't look and feel really good. Really good, okay. That's great. 
but it's one of a number of options because there's the HTML5 mm -hmm. and the BBOI.js on top of that, and there's also the other platform options as well. Okay. So really, the developer is in control. And these are everything that you're doing here is hardware accelerated. You you feel like this is this is very smooth because it's being it's using the hardware and this and marrying it to the software. One of the key aspects of BlackBerry 10 is that the base operating system built on top of Qunix mm -hmm. is really good at being able to leverage the hardware. So modern modern hardware devices have multiple cores and Qunix is able to do threading between those co cores very efficiently and very actively. So modern hardware also has GPUs that are increasingly very fast. So the base of the BlackBerry 10 OS makes it very easy to really capitalize on the uh, modern hardware, both in terms of multiple core CPUs and GPUs. Mm -hmm. So high resolution screens, fast processors mean that... Uh, the, the do, you, do you mind going back to the PDF document for a moment? Just, I'd like to just uh, take a quick look at that if you don't mind. Because the text is amazingly sharp. Not that this is indicative of a final product, but just to give give some people an idea of what it'll yeah. look like. Okay.